it is always a good idea to cut costs and put money aside to save up and prepare for rainy days. However, paying off debt is crucial if you want to succeed. There are several obstacles to achieving financial goals, from purchasing a home or retiring for good. Debt impacts people of all ages and walks of life and can easily ruin one's financial stability. Borrowing money is simple. The difficult part is repaying it. This is why we arrive at the question, what is the best method for paying off debt? Welcome to Money Talk, where we discuss tips on making money. And for this video, we are going to learn how to pay off debt quickly using the snowball method or the avalanche method. We're going to study each one and find out its advantages and disadvantages, and which might be best for your situation if you're stressed with debt. But before we begin, don't forget to hit that like button, hit subscribe, and click that notification bell to receive updates and be the first to check out our latest videos. The avalanche strategy is a good choice if you're looking to save every single penny possible. On the other hand, the snowball strategy is most likely to inspire you if you need a quick win to keep you going. However, what is the difference between these two common strategies? First. Let us talk about the avalanche method. In the avalanche method, you start paying the debt with the highest interest rate and then work your way down to the lowest interest rate. Many financial advisors recommend this approach since it results in lower total interest payments. Just think about the following scenario. You have four bills to pay off, two credit card balances, a student loan, and a car loan. Assume you have $650 left in your budget after paying your necessary obligations and adding to your emergency fund, and you now want to spend it towards debt reduction. Using the avalanche method, you will arrange your balances from highest interest rate to lowest. In this case, the $4,200 credit card debt would be on top since it has a 22.24% APR. This will require you to pay $120. What follows is your second credit card debt worth $1,300 with 15.74% APR, and you will need to pay $35 for this. The $10,750 car loan is next and has a 7.2 APR and will demand $175 as payment. Last on the list is the $6,400 worth of student loans that has a 6.3% APR and requires a minimum payment of $100. Once done, you will need to make the minimum payments on each of the three loans with lower APRs and put any extra money toward the $4,200 balance with the highest APR. With the avalanche method, you will need to do it for 15 months to pay off the first balance. After you pay off the credit card balance, you should pay attention to the next highest APR. Now, let's talk about the snowball method. Imagine a snowball rolling down a hill. It's a pretty weird thing to think about, but it is the best way to understand how this method works. It starts out small, but as it grows bigger, it speeds up. The heavier the snowball gets, the faster it goes. This is how the snowball way of paying off debt works in theory. Using this method, you start by paying the smallest balance first to the highest, rather than paying off your debt based on the interest rate. Once the smallest balance is paid off, you start attacking the next highest balance with every extra dollar and so on. For comparison, let us use the example we had earlier. For this method, the $1,300 credit card debt is on top of the list with a 15.74% APR and will require a minimum payment of $35. What's next is the bigger credit card debt worth $4,200 and 22.24% APR, which will need a $120 minimum payment. The $6,400 student loan is next, 
and the last is the car loan worth $10,750. You should make the minimum payment on each of the other three loans. Then place the remaining funds in the $1,300 amount. If we use the information from our sample budget and debts, you will need to pay a monthly $255 for the $1,300 credit card debt, $120 per month for the $4,200 credit card debt, $100 per month for the $6,400 student loan, and $175 per month for the car loan worth $10,750. Once the $1,300 credit card debt is paid off in approximately 6 months, then that $250 payment is put with $120 payment for a total of $375 towards the second credit card. When paid off, you then take this $375 and add it to the next payment and so on until all of your debt is paid off. Between these two methods, which is easier and cheaper to use? Using the snowball strategy, you will be able to pay off your first balance in six months. It would take you over a year to pay off the loan with the highest APR using the avalanche method. This is why the snowball method is the preferable option if you want to finish paying your debt fast. But if you do the math, you'll find that the avalanche method would save you $153 in interest and you could pay off everything in 40 months, which is one month faster than the snowball method. If that's enough to keep you going for a long time, you should probably use the avalanche method. In the end, both ways work, and it doesn't make a big difference whether you reach your goal in 40 or 41 months. What matters is you reach the goal. You might do better if you get quick wins early on. You can also change your method midway, What's important is you make a plan that you will be able to keep on doing. You need to be motivated to stick to it. Depending on your budget, you might be surprised at how quickly you can pay off the debt in the five-figure range. The two repayment methods we discussed today are different from each other in major ways. But regardless of what you choose, both can help you to achieve your goal. What you need to do now is to choose the method that works for you. Get this thing started and focus on the path to being debt free. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button, click subscribe, and hit the notification bell to receive updates on our latest videos. Also, feel free to leave us a comment. If you want to watch more videos, head on over to our channel to see more from Money Talk. See you!